Flying with Skates, back at it again, here with another great video for you guys today. Welcome back to another day in the life of a flight attendant, y'all. And we are back home from Atlanta. We just finished our, what did we do yesterday? We did our first time in Nice and it was so beautiful. Make sure you guys go watch that video. Now it's a whole new day, a whole new trip. I feel so much better. Um, I, I swear, like when you are flying, you get so sick. I haven't been this sick this much in my life, okay? But make sure you guys take your vitamins and stay hydrated. And wear a mask. I'm about to wear a mask today because I'm tired of being sick. Um, but we are going to GRU today. And I'm going to be y'all. When we pick this trip up out of Atlanta, we not commuting. Because y'all saw how last week we had, we just had so much going on with our commute. We had to use two S2s in two days. It was a lot. Okay. So we are in base. So we're, no, we're at home and we're in a base. So we picked up a trip. With my airline, you can do that. But if the trip cancels, we have to go on availability in our regular race. So I'm praying everything goes smooth today. We're going to have a great flight. Okay, so I also need to take my vitamins. I take the liquid vitamin here. Um, it's just two ounces of that. So I think two ounces is a shot. I use a shot glass to take it. That's so funny, right? Okay, so we're almost done getting ready for work. But y'all, look how cool this is. You can put set your phone down um, if you don't want to use it hands-free all day long. It's so cool. Look at it. Wow. You can do it like this. That is so cool. Amazon. That's me. Hello. Hey, How are you?
Hey y'all, we're back from hanging out. What are we doing today? We did a lot today, y'all. And y'all know, like, I'm not really a fan of Brazil. Like, they, when I come out here, for the hours? But we had a really good trip, though. We actually went and did a couple of things that you guys can see in the video. We went to the museum. We went to the Brazilian Steakhouse. We went to um, the British Japan area in Sao Paulo, Brazil. If you guys don't know, they have a really huge Japanese area out here and we went and explored i'm back in a hotel um this flight is a day flight both ways so we have um we had a day flight yesterday and we have a day flight tomorrow so we have to be up um as the b i'm always up okay yesterday y'all i overslept for like 30 minutes I was down there and knocked out peacefully and I thought my timer, my timer had went off actually. My alarm went off, but I was just like, oh, we got to be up at one o'clock and it's only 12 o'clock. So I went back to sleep and the A never came to get me. She never came and got me. So I'm down there sleeping. My wig is off. Okay. Wig is full. Big. We knocked out. <laughs> Snoring real good because I know I'm congested and all that good jazz. Um child she's like girl get up i said oh i'm so sorry and then i didn't mean to take off so atlanta i don't know why we do things so differently in in different bases it's kind of annoying i want everything to be consistent so atlanta the b they read the like welcome announcement when we get it when we, once we get in the air in atlanta they do that and but in but in um in new york the a normally reads it so she she told me, like, hey, don't forget to make sure you read the announcement. She's like, if you want me to do it, I can do it. I said, no, it's okay. I got it. I don't mind doing it. Like, you know, that's fine. Like, it's easy peasy. So I it didn't it didn't dawn on me until like later on that I, I did it, but um so I did it, but it took me a minute to catch on. So the double so the pilots double dinged us, you know, once we got in the air and I'm just looking around like, okay, I mean think about everything I gotta do. Make sure I cut on, cut on the ovens. Make sure I set the carts. And I said, oh, you got to read the announcement. I don't even know what announcement I was reading. I was just reading something. I was just like, wait a minute. This don't even sound right. But I got it together at the end. It was just crazy. Child, I, I think because I don't really feel 100% like myself, I'm not really performing well. But baby, I was lost. I said, I don't know what to do. Okay. But we got it together. Um... Green flags. I truly, 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 truly do love my New York based crews. Like every time I go to work, I just be so excited to go to work. I'm excited to go meet my coworkers. We have such a we always have a good flight. Like a lot of the times we always have good flights. People are just genuinely nice there, I feel like, and they're just way more excited to go to work. They just have really positive attitudes. And I just cannot say the same about Atlanta. I have not experienced an all-around amazing crew in Atlanta on international flights. And I see why the girls don't want to work international because some of the senior mamas really be pushing it. And I'm not, I don't want to speak negatively about anybody because nobody was bad per se on my flight. They just were not what I'm used to. And I think that's another reason why I was just like, you know what, I don't want to work in Atlanta anymore because of that culture. And commuting is hard, but it's like you got to choose your heart. Do you want to go to a work environment where you feel where, where you feel accepted, where you feel good, you feel like a, a part of a team? Like, what do you want to do? And I think for me personally, I'm just at a point in my life where I want to go to work and I want to have a good environment to go to work to. I don't want it to be hostile. I don't have to fuck. I'm irritated. Like every time I come to work because I'm working with the same people. And even the A said it yesterday, she's based here. She's like, you know what? These she's like these body tends to be bickering all the time, and I'm so sick of it. And I'm gonna put it in my briefing. And I was like, I was me and another New York flight attendant was just saying the same thing. They be bickering all the time about where they gonna sit. Y'all been flying for thirty plus years, and you don't know where you wanna sit at. You've been doing a job for thirty years, and it's flying the same route. Like, make it easy, y'all. Like, it's not that hard. This job is not that complicated, and we shouldn't make it complicated. But, you know, I guess we all got to pick a hard in life. But, dang, like, Jesus Christ. Oh, that's just my rant, y'all. I just don't know what I'm going to do. I have to ask God for prayer because I don't know. I, I'm i tired of commuting, but I'm tired of I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> I have to get through the summer for real, though. 
I mean, I have a place to stay in New York for this summertime too, but I'm like, I don't know, y'all. I want to be at home. I pay my rent at. Okay, I pay rent this month. I do. Disaster. 